Hi, I'm Darren Gibbs. So it's been a relatively quiet week in local markets. Wholesale interest rates are a little bit lower, but they're really following developments offshore, not so much what's happening in New Zealand. That said, there have been two important developments this week. In the global dairy trade auction, we saw a 2.3% decline in the overall price index. That's the first decline since November. And whole milk powder prices fell 2.8%. Now that's the second decline in a row, uh, taking prices back to where they were at the beginning of this year. Now for now we're still comfortable with our forecast of a $7.90 farm gate milk payout, uh, but we'll be watching these prices carefully over the coming weeks. Part of that weakness really comes from China. Uh, domestic demand in China remains quite soft. Uh, this week China has set a growth target for this year of about 5%. They achieved that last year, but that was coming off a low base as the economy came out of the pandemic. Getting 5% growth this year will be much tougher, uh, so we'll be watching China carefully this year. The other development in New Zealand this week was on the fiscal policy front. The Minister of Finance has told us that getting back to surplus in 26-27 is going to be a tough ask, and the tax data this uh, week certainly bears that out. Back in December, we were running in line with the latest forecasts. Now, for the seven months of January, tax revenue is down by 800 million on forecast. Now, most of that is due to corporate tax and self-employed tax. So you're really seeing the profit squeeze come through in the tax data. GST also down a little bit now. That's the tough conditions coming through from the retail sector. Again, we'll watch this data carefully over the next two months. If we don't see a pickup, and we're probably looking at another increase in the bond program when we get to the budget at the end of May. Looking here to next week, the data flow picks up in New Zealand. We've got consumer data and housing data likely to stay subdued. And we've also got data on inflation, so we'll be watching that carefully. We'll see you again next week.